Back to what I was saying. And I'm going to make it real brief since motherfuckers want to keep tampering with my phone and shit. <clears throat> so this is what the woman said. You women are targets. Because y'all been fucking up the financial system. Y'all the reason that gold don't back the dollar no more. It's still not on yet. So at the end of the day, don't interrupt me. So at the end of the day, here's the problem. The woman said that the companies are reputable, decent function companies. The problem is the employees. Yeah, the ones that they give low wages to, the ones that they give the lesser wage to. So now if you do the math, men and women don't get paid equally across the board. Why? Because they counted on you women to go take them jobs and to steal shit. Information, valuable information. You motherfuckers is, is working behind counters and shit with people that's giving you their full information. Social security numbers, identification numbers, birth certificates. And you are taking that information outside of the workplace and you're using it for personal gain. And you're committing fraud against the customers that are coming into these companies. And these companies range from anywhere from social security to the motherfucking Department of Motor Vehicles to your bank to the hospital, to you name it, across the board. Wherever there's a woman at pushing a motherfucking pencil or, or dialing up some shit or pressing buttons, it's a motherfucker that can't be trusted. Wherever it's a woman that on the register and you swipe on your card, she can't be trusted. Gay dudes too. Not all gay dudes, but most of them. Because they fall under the guise of female. So y'all can't be trusted. So that's why our financial system is going through what it's going through and everybody's telling everybody to start taking their money out the banks. Why? Because the bitches behind the counter at the bank can't be trusted. So they finna close them. None of you bitches can't be trusted. You put insurance on motherfuckers. You steal. Y'all thieves. Y'all liars. Y'all finaglers. Y'all scammers. Y'all schemers. And y'all fucking up America. Y'all fucking up yourself. You fucking up our whole well-being. Because you pressed about being well, but you're not well because you're mentally ill and you're stealing shit. So now we got to go through a government reformation, which is biblical, because of you women fucking up the financial system. Yeah, you women fucking up the financial system. You're greedy. Point blank. You're thieving. You're needy. You give a fuck about nothing but how you look, what your body look like, what your coochie hit on. Like, that's all in life for some shit. Get the fuck out of here. Grow the fuck up. Get you something about yourself. Use your brain for some good for a change. You motherfuckers is what they call too smart for your own good. And everybody else is too. Because not everybody got to suffer. These niggas out here that's taking this information and using this information and shit that you're giving them making money, that money ain't going to mean nothing in a minute. Because y'all doing too much. Simple as that. You was given a position of power because we knew you would abuse it. And guess what? We were right. We gave you the position of power. This was a test. This was a test to see if any of you motherfuckers would really make a decent female president. And so far, I'm the only one that would make a decent female president. Yeah. Hi, I'm a girl. Dummies. I'm androgynous. I'm omnigendered. I'm not a motherfucker hermaphrodite. They got the dick and the pussy in front. My pussy is behind me and it's not a booty hole. It doubles. But y'all don't know me like that. I got the little man on the boat and everything, so technically, bitch, I got two dicks, a big one and a small one. You're not fucking with me. You're not built like me, universally. I was put here divine by divine right, but you don't know what divinity is. You stuck on some fake-ass female-made shit, trying to constrict the laws and move, make shit go about how the fuck you move and shit, which is wrong as fuck. Simple as that. I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing. The majority of you females ain't shit. Point blank like that. Y'all do witchcraft. Do you know witchcraft has the vibration of the word witch? W-I-T-C-H and W-H-I-C-H have the same vibration and the same frequency. So witch means confused. So you're doing confused craft. When you fuck with witchcraft, the word witch means confused. Like which way did he go? Which way should I go? Indecisive. Witch. Witch. That's indecisiveness. So ultimately what I'm saying to you is you're using a craft. It should be a craft. Like wood, craft, uh, arts and craft. Well, y'all in witchcraft. So that means that you took the art out the craft. And you don't know what the fuck you doing. You just doing it. 
for real. And with witchcraft comes, you have to pay a fine for witchcraft. It takes energy. It takes time to do witchcraft. And it takes a lot more from you to do witchcraft than to put something on somebody else. Who the fuck is you to put a love spell on somebody? If they don't love you, they don't fucking love you. Go find somebody else that do. You that pressed? You that pressed to see somebody not succeed? That only says how much of you ain't shit. That don't say how much I'm not shit. That say how much you ain't shit. You want to assume the identity of men, but you don't want to do a man's job. But then you want men to turn and be women, which we already were. Womb man. Womb man. And guess what? We didn't turn tricks and suck dick, and we wasn't no hoes back then, and we damn sure not going to be none now. That's where you got life fucked up. Just because you women feel like you had to suck a dick or go fuck a nigga for a couple dollars, you want to subject everybody to that shit. Bitch, that's your choice. No one forced you to do that. You chose to do it because you liked it. So then guess what? You're going to stop impending on people's free will. And at the end of the day, all humans have rights. All humans have free will. So for you to impose your free will, for you to take your free will and impose it on somebody else, and you call yourself following, do as, do as thou wilt, let me tell you about Aleister Crowley. Aleister Crowley, just for your information, said do as thou wilt as long as you didn't impede on nobody else's free will and harm nobody else. But he's not around to explain that motherfucking shit to you. I am, because technically I would be an a incarnation of him as well. And I'm telling you, that do as, thou, do as thou wilt, flowers wilt, bitch. Yeah, flowers wilt. Do as thou wilt. Do as thou will. Do as thou will. Let me tell you something. God is in everybody. And when you don't respect the God in another person, you don't respect the God in yourself. Which means you don't respect the higher authority at all. Period. You don't respect source. So at the end of the day, you really not a part of what you think you're a part of. That's an illusion. A lot of y'all, men and women, y'all not a part of the real shit. They just let you in so you can do their dirty work. And when you get done, as the Bible says, God will let the evildoers do his deed. So you got gods that allowed y'all to come in and act like y'all gods, but y'all false gods. And they letting y'all do y'all evil deeds. Y'all let, They letting y'all do the evil deed for them so they don't have to get their hands dirty. They got you doing the work. And when you get done doing their dirt, they going to off your bitch ass just like the joker do. The joker hire a bunch of people to rob the bank, and then what'd he do? Kill everybody involved and walk away with the bag. That's the same shit that's going on right now. All you bitches are sitting around here running around with power and money for no reason, because they about to kill you bitches. For real, you better watch the news. <laughs> Y'all better watch the news. They want you bitches dead, and this is a plan, and they're going to carry it out because it's biblical. It's in the Bible. They want y'all dead. I had a female tell me out of the 144,000, 100,000 was women. Not. No way, no how, shape, or form. That is not fucking happening. That is not the truth. Sorry, boo. I mean, not to bust your bubble or nothing, star seed or whatever, but that's not the truth. See, the 144,000, that's the remnant of the government that's going to be around. That's going to reestablish the new government. And it's actually 144,000 plus one. Y'all keep counting Jesus the fuck out. Yeah, y'all keep counting Jesus out. So it's 145,000. So at the end of the day, the 144,000 will be the remnant that's left that's going to rebuild the government. And it's a world government. World government. World government. That means all nations, all countries, under one government. And that 144,000 will be the ones that established that government and running that government with Jesus at the top. Or should I say Lucifer or Ra or whoever you want to name that fucking eye on your dollar. I know it's not none of you bitches. Y'all know we're close. Y'all not built galactically. Y'all not from the stars. You're not an alien like me. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm an alien. You're not an alien like me. Point blank like that. So you fighting for nothing. There's no competition, my nigga. You was put in that position intentionally to fuck shit up because you was a fuck up and guess what y'all fucking up just like we counted on y'all fucking up so ultimately you lost this battle you lost this war you lost this fight you lost yourself you lost life and let me give you this pointer before i get out of here why y'all all running around this motherfucker talking about you trying to live your best life you live i'm living my best life i'm living my best life 
You can't live, period, until you learn how to love, period. And you cannot live your best life if you are not your best self. And 95% of you bitches don't love yourself. You love your titties, you love your ass, you love your pussy. That's not you. That's your flesh. What about what's inside? What about that fucked up head of yours? What about that cold ass heart that you won't open up? Because you a little, you a scary ass little bitch inside. Yeah, that part. So I'm going to say this to you one more time. You can't live your best life if you're not your best self. And y'all not your best self. You look like it. Because that's about as good as you can look. But then y'all make that shit up. Put fake shit on that. Like for real. Like y'all terrible. And I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You don't have to be. This is constructive criticism coming from a place of love. Get your shit together. Love yourself. And I don't mean go get your hair done. I don't mean go get a pedicure. I don't mean go get a massage. That's other people loving on you. That's other people that you're paying to care for you. Love yourself. Don't do nothing physically. Don't do no. All you got to do is get up and brush your teeth and wash your motherfucking ass. Love yourself on the inside. On the inside. Don't pamper yourself. That's not love. You pamper babies. Babies get pampered. You bitches running around here calling yourself this and that, but y'all get pampered. You put pampers on a baby, my nigga. Love yourself. Because until you learn how to love yourself, you're not going to love anyone else. You're not going to appreciate life. And you're not going to live your best of it. Facts.